tonight is a very special night. It's my last night in the apartment that I first moved to when I came out to California to live with Jonathan and Robin. It's also special because we're gonna be interviewing two young women who decided to make a podcast and it's spooky. Their company is one year old and is exactly where we wanna be a year from now. Tonight, I'm gonna pick their brains to figure out what it really takes to create a podcast and see all the ins and outs of producing something creative. So guys, without any further ado, let's go conjure some spirits. We should murder together. Let's do it. That was pretty easy. Hi, Ben. I don't want Ben to visit me in my bed again. Don't ever take it. So, first off, how do you know that his name is Ben? We don't actually know his name is Ben. Should I start from the beginning? Sure. Do you know the whole story? I don't know story? anything about Ben. Okay, I'll tell yeah. the whole story. So, what happened was I moved into my apartment in Hollywood from Southern Illinois. Right across the street from Paramount, you can almost look into Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I was doing my hair in the bathroom and someone came up behind me and I thought it was my boyfriend at the time, Michael, and he asked me a question, what are you doing? And I said, I'm doing my hair, what are you doing? He walked away and I walked out into the living room. I was completely alone. My beliefs were completely shifted by Ben. Like, I didn't think that they could actually interact with you in any way. We picked, we picked cider. cider. Hot apple cider. Jesus. Almost broke it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of Christ. Hey. Hello. How are you ladies doing today? Wonderful. So good. Thanks for Never having us. better. In my whole life. What? That's I'll take it. Statement <laughs> means you have a great yeah, show. I'm Ashley. And I'm Lauren. This is Lauren. And we are Keep It Weird Podcast. The podcast for everything strange, strange unusual, unusual, paranormal, paranormal supernatural, supernatural, creepy, creepy sticky, sticky, scary, gross, and, and everything, everything in between. between. Yes, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just us. It's just us. We're it's a just duo. the two of us. We have... 40 full episodes. We have been a guest on another podcast for an episode. We have four full video episodes, yeah. and we have eight half hour This Week in Weird, which is our new segment on YouTube. Yeah, Damn. we have some content out there, yeah. In a year, we've put quite a bit of content yeah. out there, more than I thought we ever would. We sit down once a week uh -huh. with a friend, coworker, family member, whomever. We talk about something weird, hometown haunts. So we'll take just California, and we'll talk about like the um, UFO sightings, serial killers, cryptids, haunted locations in like just Southern California. We've known each other for, say, Seven years? Seven years. Seven yeah, years. that's insane. And we always wanted to do something together creative. I, I was a restaurant manager for years and years and years. And finally last year, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I quit. I was unemployed for months. And I was just dying to find a creative outlet. It was something we talked about for a long time. Yeah, we both love podcasts. And every time we would get together, a bottle of wine would come out. <laughs> like we'd get to talking and every night would end like, with like, we have to do a podcast. <laughs> Why haven't we done this yet? So then we I finally had a night of like, let's get our butts in gear. What are we going to talk about? What do we like? What can our theme be? That's and dope. it just kind of clicked at the same time with both of us. Dead. We threw a couple names out and then it was like, keep it weird. Bad. Keep sure. it weird just landed. And yeah. It fits us. We decided, let's just talk. Let's just talk as if we had a podcast. We'll have a conversation. We're going to record it on this dumb iPhone. And then... See if it's anything. See if it's anything. See if like we're interesting at all. Are we funny? funny Do all. we have chemistry? Are we only funny to each other? We gave it to our significant others, right. obviously. A couple friends. Everyone said, you guys are great. We yeah. want to hear more. That's what you got to do. My jewelry started moving around. I looked everywhere. Could not find my rings. Eventually I go to get dressed for the day and I get into my underwear drawer, which is the second drawer down, and all my rings are lined up. Ben started to get really active. The coffee pot was shattered all over the kitchen. Got another coffee pot, put the pot in, I turned around and I hear whoosh, and then like crash. And Michael's looking at me and he just goes white as a sheet because he saw it fly across the room. So then I move in here and after like maybe two months living here, I wake up and my rings are in the second drawer of the dresser. How long did it take you to start? 
we wanted to do it so bad. And we, we didn't were, want to wait around yeah, anymore. Yeah, and we also, we had no money. We had the first hundred episodes planned out. Mm -hmm. We were ready to go. We got and together we, and made a list of everything we wanted to talk about. Everything we, we were wanted so to talk ready. about, the structure of the episodes. Mm -hmm. I think when we first started, we were like, it'll be, you just record it and mm -hmm. then uh -huh. just put it up. We <laughs> bought our first mic and she learned how to use everything. I taught myself how to edit sound, yeah. wow. which was very hard. I'm sure. I had no editing experience. I right. never edited anything in my entire life. Mm -hmm. so now I had she's to teach a master. Myself. Yeah. Yeah. And basically produce, edit, put it all on and made it work. It was a lot of asking other people who had either attempted to make their own podcast or have right. their own podcast, like, what do you use? And then mm -hmm. we found out like, oh, this is the program I use to edit sound. Oh, this is the website that I use to host the podcast because you right. have a hosting website. Ours yeah. is called Libsyn mm -hmm. and okay. you upload it to Libsyn and then it goes and you pay to for iTunes. That, and then that goes to iTunes. Oh, Stitcher, that's Google how they Play. do it. We but did get a lot of advice from the community. Uh -huh. So it's like we had people around us that helped us, but it yeah, definitely was Ashley taking all that advice on and just saying, here we go, I'm uh -huh. going to produce this. And so. I think I had to do this question every, every day. hour. I just have to figure out how to X, Y, Z. I just mm -hmm. have to figure out this. I just have to figure sure. out that. Yep. And then we had our first episode. Microphone. This is what we recorded on literally all year. Four people on one mic. But... We've upgraded. We've upgraded, guys. <laughs> now so we now we have guys. microphones. Much crisper, close-up right. sound. Right. Headphones. Think. Mixer. Computer. Computer. Audacity. External hard drive. <laughs> and last but not least, you need opening music. Yo. I don't remember you saying, like, Ben, follow me here. I didn't want to say <laughs> it, it to anyone. Do you remember that time we had the ghost app? It was like a ghost box, kind of, but it was an app. It was nothing. So we start asking it questions, and it actually starts to make sense. So but then what us happened out. is it said bedroom, which is where most of the activity mm -hmm. took place. So I said, are you in the bedroom? And it said, Ben. And I said, is that your name? And as we're walking down the hallway to the bedroom, this thing is going, Ben, 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 Ben. We didn't even make it to the bedroom. We turned no, we didn't. it off and we came back. Why? We were too scared to we go to her bedroom. We didn't go to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I think I Robin, slept you never in the told living me about room. This. And then I saw him in this room. And he was sitting in the chair. And I literally, it didn't even phase me. I just like looked over and I was like, Ben. And I went, what? Put down my laundry basket, came back in, and he was gone. Eventually, we moved on to listener ghost stories episodes mm -hmm. where people email us in scary stories. And now we get questions all the time. If there's yeah. a picture of us, we're holding all the stories that were sent in. I mean, we had probably like 30 stories sent in from people wow. who just had a paranormal experience and wanted to share it. Yeah, right. I mean, even if you're putting out a, a sports podcast, for example, uh -huh. you they have mailbags where they want people to write in and ask them questions. Like the interaction, it started as just, you know, my sister would write in every yep. week. And then, like, and then my, my mom sister. would send something in. And just oh, and learning then... to market ourselves, Don't too. even get me started just about like that. Just, like, starting an Instagram mm -hmm. and just starting from zero where nobody knows you. And just yeah. being like, hey, we have this thing. And then 20 of your friends you like it, and that's it. Yeah, you basically uh -huh, have to that. beg all of your friends and to family spread the word. to share all of your yep. stuff. We've been there. That was our only listenership for the first probably three months. It was, was just friends, friends. yeah. I think there was a lot of pride that had to be set aside. Hey, please I'm gonna come begging this. to you, like, please, <laughs> please share this. For real. Please tell someone to listen tell to this. Tell anybody. Yeah. Tell your mailman. I think the best part of the podcast is finding out like how big my community actually is. We've had like at least 35 guests. Maybe we've had a couple repeats. Mm -hmm. 30 guests, let's say. People that I did background with my first year in LA. Mm -hmm. People that I worked at Barnes and Noble with. People mm -hmm. that I worked in restaurants with. People sure. that I met through Lauren. College friends yeah. came on the show. It's literally like a collection mm -hmm. of everyone that I've met in Los Angeles, even in Illinois. Yeah. And it's all the people from all the different walks of my life that have come together to like contribute to this yeah. little show. Sweet. Right. I've had this crystal for like five years, probably four years. For whatever reason, when I use it, it works really well. It's almost like your crystal will work 
the best for you if you have one. So let's say we do this today, uh-huh. this investigation. Oh, yeah. Is part of you worried that you might take him with you? Joe is. If you bring him back here, I swear to God. It's a, we're gonna poke him. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna poke, we're gonna the poke him. Yeah. We're gonna poke, poke the bear. bear. Poke the he's, bear. <laughs> if he's listening, he's well aware that this is our last night here and that we're full circle. Now's the time. It's true. Goodbye. Now's the time. And I'll be if very you're curious if he follows you to yeah. your new house. Deadlines um, help it motivate. It is very difficult to stay ahead. Deadlines I mean, there are have been key. times this year where we've been three episodes ahead and it's mm-hmm. awesome. But then life happens. I have to work 40 hours this week. Mm-hmm. I have to work on the podcast for 20 hours and yep. also get an oil change. Oh. It's about anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week. Of Damn. Work. On top of her having a full-time job. All the research for the episode. Mm-hmm. This research, is actually us and our guests included. All of my notes from <laughs> in this binder. One Can you turn it the other way? And Gosh. that's only my notes. Jeez. Because I keep mine on a computer, so yeah. mine is an additional packet. Uh-huh. You also have to coordinate with the guests and with your co-host on like scheduling, scheduling and, just... and what they're doing. Recording takes about two to three two hours. Two to three hours, yeah. The editing process, obviously. And we also have a weekly newsletter that goes out to people who donate to our Patreon. And then we also have a video so that I have to edit. So like... Yeah. It's, it's at least 20 hours a week of work. If I didn't love the process of doing it, oh, definitely. Oh, I would have been you have to love given it. up a long yeah. time. Four months. The grind is real. The episode Who 13. Knows? I think it's 13. Was that long ago? Yeah, Jesus. Long ago. <laughs> we went to the Millennium Biltmore. We recorded basically from the time we got there to the time we went to sleep, except for when we were drinking at the bar. Hey. Um, on the, I want to say it was the ninth floor. A little girl has been seen on the ninth floor. She runs up and down the halls. She knocks on people's doors. But then I had to go home and listen to all the audio. Uh-huh. Caught this. And let me see if I could just play the whisper. Hold on. Here, you can actually hear her singing words. I know. <laughs> We didn't hear that. And you could what hear with us talking that we were not hearing that live at all. We're both like, well, the EMF went off. Nothing's here, though. Yeah. And then she didn't hear it until she went back. That's crazy. That, the like, only ones in that hall. The only people in that hallway. This was late at night. We were like about to head back to our room. I have one more, but this happened when we were just like recording our podcast. Oh, yeah. This happened oh. in this her apartment. This was in my apartment. The episode's called The Father, Son, and the Holy Kelly, and we're talking about (laughs) angels and demons. Kelly is telling the story about her friend, whose older brother was actually murdered by a man who claimed that the devil told him to do it. Well, I'll let you listen Hmm. to it, and then you can tell me if you hear anything. Ready? All right. This is probably the only person I know who had someone that was murdered. This This brother was murdered. (laughs) That's so weird. (laughs) EMF reader, microphone, crystal pendulum for communicating. That's it. (laughs) So this is just for if we want to test out a certain area of the room to see if it's much colder than the other. Let's start in the living room. If you have anything that you would like to express to us, say to us, we have a microphone right here where this red light is. If you step in front of Lauren, who you may remember, she used to stay the night here all the time. If you step in front of her, that is an EMF detector. The closer you get to it, the more it will react. If you are here and you would like to let it be known that you are here, you can give us a sign. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing in the living room, it seems. Should we do Robin's room? Let's try Robin's room. Ooh. Seems to like that room. He decided to lay right here. Cool. And yeah. I was standing about right here when I gasped. Do you like ladies? Maybe you don't like the presence of the men in the room. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ben, is that you making this go off? Can you do it again? Just fuck her. 
not crazy right. No, I thought it flicked. It is flicking. Yeah. Hi, Ben. There has constantly been the yeah. desire to do it, the push to do more even when I'm exhausted. Like I said, when I came out here and I wanted to be an actress or whatever, I, you couldn't drag me to a networking thing. You could threaten my life and I wouldn't go to an audition. I didn't <laughs> have any passion for it. Sure. I thought I did. Um, turns out I don't. <laughs> and I was and the exact same to, way. Yeah, you have to have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I you agree. If you don't care, you're not going to make it. There are some days where I'm like, I have to work all day and then I have to go do the podcast. Yeah. But as <laughs> soon as Lauren walks in the door, it's like, bleep, 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 dee, 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 nah, nah. Hey, if it doesn't work the first time, try again if we this is lucky. truly your passion. Or if it doesn't work and your heart's not in it, then at least you know now. Yeah. At least you tried. And just to sit there and say, I almost started a podcast once, or I almost started a YouTube channel once, but yeah. just never went for it. Like, I think that's such a sad way to look back on things. Just so do it. Just go just for it. Do it. I don't like the way that just, just do it. Do it. You just, yeah, it's like you keep fun. saying, you have to make it happen. Mm -hmm. You just have to well, set aside that time. You know, just in the year that we've been doing a podcast, I have seen so many people start a podcast and then almost it immediately out. stop. Yeah. We had to really sit down together and talk about we are recording on this day the episodes will be released this day if we're gonna miss a week we have to record two and you know what I mean like we really set mm -hmm. out because I think that's the problem with a lot of people especially creative people that depend on other people actors who are making projects or producers or directors you can't rely on the person that you are creating with that makes it a lot harder. Totally. So I think it's good to say just do it and then like a little asterisk, but <laughs> with like people who with are people you can trust. Yeah. If there's yeah. ever a time where we don't love it, that's when we know it's time to stop. But right now we have so much, so much fun. fun. Instead yeah. of sitting on my computer, geeking out on my own. Go out and find it yourself. Yeah, the research that, I, that we do for our episodes is stuff that I would be doing anyway yeah. alone for no reason. Right. All right. Would you like you. to say anything to us? I thought I felt a chill, but I it might have just no. been. No, I actually felt colder. Did you see the light flicker again? Yes, too? it did. Okay. It like got brighter. Ben doesn't like boys, apparently. Uh -huh. Ben, do you like girls more than you like guys? I'm sorry if I call you Ben and that's not your name, but you are the same person that was with me in Hollywood and then in Van Nuys, right? Clockwise is our yes. That was pretty easy. Hi, Ben. And you lived with me for two years. You know I'm not going to hurt you. All right, Ben, we are going to move on to a new room. This is going to be your last chance. Sorry I'm gassy. <coughs> I haven't eaten and I've had a lot of LaCroix. And cider. Okay, Ben, we're in my old room now. Jonathan's room. Jeez, oh man. And it seems like you are also in here with us. 73 in the shadow, 74 in the light, just in case we get that chill again. 70 degrees, 69 is dropping. I feel the cold breeze on my knees again. It's almost five degrees colder right here than it was earlier. Mm hmm that I've never seen that, ever. Me neither. Ben, stop it. Ben, stop. Whoa. Whoa. 74 degrees. Are you serious? No. no. Uh-huh. We're such a good team, it almost freaks us out sometimes yeah. how good of a team we are, and it's, it's very yeah. strange. There's I mean, never she's been a like crazy drama. person. You always know what I'm thinking. Yeah. I really truly think we have some like weird alien antenna. We connection do have a weird connection. Because we We, we have did an twins. episode of twins. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. We should note, but... murder together. Let's do it. Alright, listeners, we wanna thank Robin and Jonathan so much for coming on to our show today and letting us come into the apartment. Our finale. Season finale. <laughs> it's such a perfect finale because it's also the finale of this apartment. So it's just oh, end of an era. So Plug yourself. Ways. We have a t-shirt. The keep it weird symbol. Get that little W with your fingers. Ashley and I do it to each other and no one else and knows about it. You can listen to keep it weird on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, Google Play, pretty much almost anywhere that you can listen to podcasts. We have a Facebook page, it's Keep It Weird, an Instagram and a Twitter, at Keep It Weird Cast. 
We also have our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash keep it weird podcast. YouTube, keep it weird podcast. We have All some of our vids. Videos are there. Just search yeah, for keep it weird with Lauren and Ashley. Look them up, guys. Send us your spooky, spooky stories. stories. Hey, Yay. thank you for having yes. us. Of course. Thank you, thank you so for being so on the fun. show. So much fun. Listen to our show. First yeah. guest. And keep it weird. Keep it weird. <laughs> <laughs>